Hello and welcome to Chrome's One Gaming. Today we will be playing some Atlantic Fleet. It's a turn-based naval tactical and strategic simulation from 2016. It's made by Killerfish Games. The games is set during the Second World War and the struggle between the mighty Royal Navy and uh, the German Kriegsmarine. Uh, we'll do a couple of battles. Unfortunately, some of these battles are during night and it's really, really dark. And the footage, when it gets uploaded to, uh, to YouTube, gets even darker. So there would be a point to do that. So I will, I will do the first and third this, uh, this place through. And I, then I think the next one we, was uh, this number six. And then we will try and take... All uh, battles that is during during day time that is not that dark. So let's start with the sinking of Courageous. It's uh, September 17th, 1939. While on anti-submarine patrol in the western approaches, HMS Courageous is spotted and stalked by U-29. So the historical outcome was that Courageous was sunk. So uh, let's see if we can change history here. So we have the CV Courageous and CV stands for Aviation Cruiser. Uh, and DD is for Destroyer. So we have two destroyers, Impulsive and Ivanhoe, and then we have Courageous. And the Germans have a single submarine. So it looks like it attack us from our right side uh, and we can see the submarine there you see the periscope sticking up and we have four torpedoes coming at us so we uh, yeah we need to uh, save this carrier so let's speed up and turn as far as port can and hopefully we can get in between these uh, torpedoes hopefully they won't reach us next time so we have two turns to do this so let's see oh it's turning really really slow if we that one looks like it will miss but um, this one would definitely hit I'm not sure if it will reach us next time hopefully not and we have two destroyers and we have the enemy there let's see if it's I can click it and see if there it is so it's 8734 uh, is the distance um, we have a couple of torpedoes coming at us, but I say if we do full flag speed and go around, they will miss us, and then we head straight towards the submarine. We could fire if we want to, but it's really, really hard to uh, to hit it. So let's save and see if we can repeat it with this boat, or uh, we can drop some depth charges on it. So it's really close. So hope we. I think we can. It's so close that we can torpedo it. Yeah, it's four thousand. That's really good. So let's turn starwards as we can, and then we will hopefully fire some torpedoes. We have ten. And can we see in what direction? I think. Yeah, it's. It is probably with, with the front the, uh, that way, so and it's really close as well. So I think we will hit it. So if we we can drag this to aim, we can all we can also use uh, some buttons on the numpad here. So let's if if we if we send one and this will not hit this time, it can maybe. Try to escape with a steep right turn. So let's 
let's fire a torpedo behind him and then we add a couple in front and hopefully you will not escape this so let's let's do this and we fire if we're lucky they will hit this time or will they reach him? No. So, how is it with the German torpedoes? Will they reach? No. We, and he didn't get out of the way, so. Do we hit him with three? Yeah, we changed, uh, we changed history. No damages, and the SSU-29 is sunk. Uh, okay, so he restarted. We should not uh, play it again. So we go back to this, and then we play the third one. Battle of the River Plate. Or is, was it this one that was... Uh... No, it's morning, so it's good. Uh, so we have three ships, we have a cruiser, the CA is a heavy cruiser, and the CL stands for light cruiser, so we got one heavy cruiser and two light cruisers. And uh, the Admiral Graf Spee is a heavy cruiser as well. So he got a little bit of an advantage and uh, hopefully he... He won't sick us, and we can sh maybe shoot him out with our uh, cruiser, and we can drop some uh, torpedoes on him with our destroyers. So first away, and looks like a hit straight away. Did we? Oh, everything looks good. No damage. Uh, I'd say we turn so we can get a full broadside on him and fire with all our guns. So, we can move it a little bit so we hit the front. The recommend the elevation is 22.1. They are not that accurate so maybe we take it down a bit to 21.5 and we fire a, an 8 inch shell well, on. And then we have our destroyers and I say we just go straight toward them we need to be close to fire our torpedoes and yeah, it's the distance is 25. Now we need to get down to five or six, maybe seven, to, just to uh, fire our torpedo. So we don't do anything this turn. And the same with you. <clears throat> and you are a little, a little closer. But Like he hit us again, but yeah, the triple A was hurt. we don't use that, so let's move. And we were long last time, their command 16 4 now, that's quite but he brought us, so yeah, let's do 6 8 16 8. short. We continue to uh, steer towards the German cruiser. You can only fire with these front guns. 
but we have our broadside, full broadside joint, so we have six guns. Uh, let's move a little bit to the front. So 68 was short, now recommended is 197. So it's quite much, I'd say. So let's let's do 192. was still quite long. Continue to drive towards German cruiser. So how far are we? Yeah, it's 19,000. So we need to get down down to five, six, seven thousand maybe. The torpedoes. Thank you. Long. And now he's running straight toward us. And let's see, it was way long. It says 659 now. Let's let's do six. Yeah, 61. Let's shoot him. <laughs> Well, should you guys start firing? It's quite far so far, so no. Let's continue and shorten the distance. Continue to drive straight toward us, and you can see in this map that we can zoom in a little bit. We can't see the hits uh, here, so we can see that the last hit here. And since he has drawn toward us, I say it's the same. We just fire. The same as we did, 61, 61, yeah, bombs away. Got a nice hit. Four spots is damaged, four radar is damaged. And uh, we drive straight toward them. Could actually start firing a little bit just for fun. Recommended eleven. Uh, recommended elevation nineteen point eight. Let's do eighteen. Quite short actually. No, not that short. Yeah, eighteen five would be better. <laughs> He's still firing long. That maybe because we took out his radar there. Uh, let's turn a little bit and then we lower it a little bit. It's say 14.5. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. So 14.3. Well, should have been 14.5. Start fighting with you as well. Let's do 18. Thirteen eight. 
Is that too much? Uh, that was a lot. That is, yeah, we shortened. Yeah, hopefully. So 14.3 was a hit, and we are now 13.8, isn't it? Let's do 14. Sounded lovely. Yeah, we got a lot of damage here. But he is still a boat. So uh, let's close in and fire some more. 16. Let's do what they recommend. So we're closer, so maybe in two turns we can launch some torpedoes. Uh, yeah, main radar. Main spot is red and out of commission. Uh, 12.5 is recommended. Let's go with. Yeah, let's go with 12. we took out his radar I think so uh, 12 6 13 yeah let's go down to 12 yeah let's do 12 6 so we are yeah we need to uh, we can I think we continue in this direction and we can turn right and Fire some torpedoes. Uh, let's uh, aim there. Eleven six. It's quite a lot. Let's do twelve. Let's see. We we'll fire over. Good. Yeah. So next turn, I think we will drop some. Uh, with this one, we can try and fire at his uh, propellers, see if we can slow him down. Uh, 11 is recommended, yeah, 11, 1. from them. Uh, I say we continue 11, 10, 5. Let's, let's go down to 11. Well, it's quite a lot actually. Let's, let's do 11. So, uh, oh, I want to go little further 
around maybe next time. Let's go for the, for the steering. Uh, it, let's do the lever. Nice. And you are 9,000 from them. So next turn probably be some torpedo to the back and fire at the propulsion uh, 9-6 yeah 9-9 nine, nine. feels <laughs> with him but it was a little too okay so he's dropping torpedoes four of them we should be able to uh, Avoid them pretty easy. Uh, uh, we just continue to hammer him with shells. Let's go down to 10 8. Uh, so, where are I can't see them? Uh, should we take the risk and turn? get hit or continue straight away for one turn until we see the torpedoes let's turn a little bit no oh, I still can't see any torpedoes so just fire See any torpedoes there either, but I say we make we take a chance to turn and see if we can release some torpedoes. We can. So he's driving in that direction. So let's let's do that. Okay. So we can fire two this turn, and hopefully we can't escape them, and we need to turn, because if I try and move this, yeah, we can actually fire one there. Should we, yeah, well, we, we save those two for the next turn. They won't reach him this turn, but hopefully next. This one. Yeah, I think we're safe. So here are our torpedoes. Will they hit him? No, they won't reach this turn. So, move and fire. 10 4, 10 7, let's go down a little bit. So, okay, now we see the torpedoes. So I say we go a little to the right. We go in between them and then we fire. And we will continue to turn. And hopefully we can fire some more. Fire two. So, since these are our two, and they, if we stop, they will hit him, and then we can actually fire, fire one here, and then we fire one here. I think we got him this time. Oh, I think. Doing. Oh man. Well, those two won't. They will probably miss. But the other two will hit. Or one of the other two. 
nine. Let's. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, we heard we damaged his A and B turrets, so we won't be able to fire anymore. I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, we continue straight between the torpedoes. Then I think hopefully we can knock him out. Let's go down to seven. Yeah, I th I'd say both of those will hit next turn. A little bit and then we fire. We have no more torpedoes, but we have shells. So five and nine. Let's do six. Low. Yes. German torpedoes missed us and. First one missed, the other two. Oh. We sunk here. Yeah. Light damage to Exeter, Exeter, and medium damage to Ajax. The chill is unharmed. So, uh, that was fun. Uh, let's, uh, let's do some more battles, so uh, keep your eyes open on this channel if you like uh, Atlantic Fleet, and I see you next time. Bye-bye.